Welcome back. Hello. You know, I'm gonna I say, see the, horrible, I'm gonna say the, the horrible performance really suits the game well. I mean, I'm like, why would why I? Why can't you play as the scavengers during the zombie apocalypse? Where do we even spawn? We're on some sort of. Get back in the fight, traitor! Are you deserting us? Uh, somebody's across from me. Oh, hey, there you are. Behind you! Oh, God! Yep, I will just camp. If only there were nice buildings to run through to lose them. I, I get the feeling Asylum is really the only map balance for this mode. As in, it's not like super. Mm -hmm. it's not like super oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, I'm already dead. I revive you, but I don't have one of those uh, medic guns. I have no idea. Let me try and. They're landing. Have fun. Fucking. Leave off! Okay, I need to heal. Let's see if I can stand over you and pick you up. No. Nope. No. No press E to pick up. Your death pose is really weird. There's some guys who made it on top of the superstructure and they're just up there. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Does anyone realize they're not supposed to just like try to hold out? They're supposed to run around? Maybe they they uh, they want to kind of find a pot to the, the zombie hordes, either that or they just don't know. But, you know, you, you need, like on these big maps, you need multiple people with the different edges. Where's that part? There was a, a gear on my screen. Another problem is. Uh, 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 well, if you take a look at the top of the screen, notice how many parts there are. We were probably never going to finish this one. I finished one of these before. Hey, I see the gear. The problem isn't the parts, the problem is where they are. And the hide only shows them when you're in a certain distance. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're always in buildings, right? So that answers some of it. You just gotta go where buildings are and help you show up on the HUD. And what I wouldn't do for you. Now, why can't it be an option to let you spawn with a gun? Yeah, I would appreciate that. I mean, since the zombies are never ending anyway, I mean, you know. Hey, bud. Oh, I found some gas. Good gas. Can you just get in the vehicle now? No, I don't have gas. It was red wood. Oh, okay. oh fuck! Not good. Oh man! Oh. And there's a vehicle right behind you too. We stole the resources. Let's see if they can make it. I don't know how they hit me because yeah, I'm far away. I'm letting them. Kind of. She'll make it. How far away can you shoot someone from? Nope, nope, you're dead. Nope. Uh, there's a spring right across from me. So, who was the kind of player say... actually getting the parts? Because it doesn't seem like they're still alive. Yes. Well, uh, you're dead, but there's three, three going. Yep. Uh, one thing that does impress me is the amount of zombies on screen. I, I think, like, they got a good amount. It is a lot, but I'm guessing that accounts for a lot of the much poorer performance than Ravage previously had. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, eventually as well, the game should be getting a 64-player server. 
Oh boy, that'll be fun. So maybe they're using the zombie mod to kind of test performance, I don't know. You know, there seems to be a common aim with people making uh, UE3 Battlefield games, but they always seem, they always make games that look worse and run much worse than actual Battlefield games. And it seems to be quite a feat. That guy got a lot of guns in my Nobody's picking up that shotgun. I mean, like, all that time ago... Oh god, well... Another one bites the dust. I mean, all that time ago they tried with Frontline's Fuel of War, and it looked worse and ran worse than Battlefield 2? No, no, on Xbox. On Xbox they ran pretty good. Yeah, well, we're not talking about the Xbox. Oh, another one's down. And... No we'll go on PC no and idea. Jets. We should have stuck with them, they, at least they have healing. But they're not getting any parts, that's the problem. Yeah, so who was that player getting the parts that was actually competent? Because these guys don't... Um, or maybe they're just really bad at it. Then again, they're still alive. So what have you got the parts? Yeah, it's one of these three. Anyway, front lines on PC had horrible stutter issues, like that they never ever fixed. It also, impressively, had no voice chat on PC. It's like the Xbox version had actually really advanced voice chat, more advanced than Battlefield does to this day. Like it had nearby voice, team voice, and vehicle voice. So like if you just wanted to talk with the dude in the tank, you could just do that. That sort of thing. Well, um, at least it's after, I mean, after a patch. That uh, not having voice chat in the PC version is not limited to front lines. It was kind of a, a port thing for a while. Yeah. But anyway, you know, it's really dumb and really bad, and given its competitor at the time with Battlefield 2, that's kind of sad. Get on the boat! Oh, shit. Hey, they're, they're actually getting there. They got some more there. Two more parts. And that they actually have gas. No, he's gonna get down. Oh no, he made it. And so anyway, now we've got Ravage, which you know, looks bad, runs bad. Map starts that big. I think it's just uh, UE3 doesn't doesn't handle things that well, you know? It, it's nice and intimate. Maybe UE4 would do the job. For other games. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like their priority is is fixing up um, how well their engine works for Battlefield clones, given how few of them are made. Oh, uh, I mean, maybe like, you know, their engine isn't meant for Battlefield clones, you know? Uh, Homefront uh, had, you know, I mean, home front seemed a bit janky, but it was more or less okay. Well, yeah, but the thing about home front is it it went way more towards being a COD clone than a Battlefield clone. The maps are really tight. It's still, it had helicopters and tanks. I mean, yeah, it still had vehicles, but the maps were not Battlefield size. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I suppose you're right. The helicopters look weird because when you actually were flying them, and you were aimed down, the helicopter was actually flying nose down all the time. <laughs> I'll give them credit though. I mean, the fact that it still had vehicles, even if the maps weren't that big, was great because you, know, you could just get a couple kills and buy a Jeep and then drive around in circles endlessly honking the horn. You know, because that's, that's the thing you can do when you have vehicles. Yeah. It's a thing you should It would be interesting to see. Uh, how well CryEngine 3 can copy Battlefield. Yeah, you know, that's just weird. CryEngine, it's like no one's ever tried. I mean, Cry Crytek was like, hey, we're going to copy Battlefield when they made Crisis. You know, and, and so they tried, and oh god, did it run so much worse than Battlefield 2 at the time, but it was a lot better. Well, 
I mean, uh, they're making all fun too, right? So, see how CryEngine 3 handles Battlefield. Well, but, but that's the thing, I mean, they're making fun too. Uh, you know, if I had to guess. I mean, it's, it's probably gonna be. It's probably more, gonna be what more. What the fuck happened? COD, uh, the Jeep blew up. Time ran out. <laughs> I love. Oh man. Oh well. Anyway, it's probably gonna be more, you know, home front, which is mostly COD, but hey, maybe it at least still have some vehicles and RC cars. And it'll run cars. better and look better. Oh yes. Really. I mean, it can't run worse. I mean, Homefront, you know, <laughs> ran, ran a lot better than Frontlines because the maps are smaller and I guess they smoothed out their problems with PB3, but, you know, for tiny maps, you can expect tiny maps. Okay. It still didn't look that good, though. I didn't crash. Yay.